Hello everyone, I am Rooni Thumre, lecturer, Computer Technology Department, KKWA Polytechnic Nasik. I welcome all of you in this course, Fundamental of ICT. In this video, I will be going to explain practical number 9 from this course. The title of this course is Create, Open and Edit Worksheets. Now, let us have the practical significance. A worksheet is a file that helps organize data in rows and columns. Different types of data is entered in cell of a table to perform various types of calculation on it. Also, it sorts data, filter data based on criteria and can also represent it in the form of charts. This practical develops the ability to create worksheets enter data and edit it in many ways. The relevant course outcome is to interpret data and represent it graphically using spreadsheets. By performing this practical, you will be able to create, open and edit worksheets. You must require some practical skills like to create edit and save worksheets by way of entering the given sample data and performing basic calculations on it. You have to also format data and sheet layout, adjust row height and column width. Also you have to insert, delete rows, cells and columns. Now to perform this practical you must know something about worksheets. Worksheets are very important tool in any office related operation. Most of the time business commercial activities are documented with the help of worksheet. It gives a complete row column scenario where one can use statistical data and perform certain operations on it. Each box in worksheet is known as a cell. One can define a formula or use a ready-made formula available by writing equal to symbol at the beginning of cell. Now, to perform this practical, you require resources like computer system. You must have any desktop or laptop with basic configuration. Also, you require office software package. You may go with Open Office, Star Office, LibreOffice, MS Office or any other such software tool. To perform this practical, you can divide the procedure into three different sections. First, you have to save and create the spreadsheet. You can edit the spreadsheet and also you can format the cells and sheets of spreadsheet. First. You have to use the appropriate tool from the menu ribbon using shortcut key to perform the following task like enter some sample data as instructed. You have to save the worksheet and close and open the workbook. To edit spreadsheets, you can keep mouse on the boundary line of rows and column and dragging the line user can adjust row height and column width. One can use all the word processing feature to format edit text data like you can use it to format font, delete, move data, you can perform copy and paste operation, find and replace operation, spell check, zoom in out, insert special symbol, insert comments, you can also add text box and you can perform undo and redo changes. You can also use the relevant option from the menu to perform following task. You can perform operations like rotate cell, then set text alignment, merge and wrap cells. You can apply borders and shading. You can set the background color. You can clear the formatting and even you can set the line spacing. Also, you can adjust the page margin page orientation, you can add remove header and footer, you can insert the page break option. You can also hide, unhide rows and columns. To do it, you have to click on the column or row or 
designation number on the top right to select whole column and rows. You can use the relevant menu or right click the mouse button and choose hide to hide the column and rows. To unhide it, choose two successive rows or columns between which the hidden column rows exist. Use relevant menu option or right click the mouse button and choose unhide to unhide the hidden cell rows and columns. You can also freeze the pens. So for that place cursor to a cell for reference point. Use relevant menu and choose freeze option to freeze the column to the left and rows above the cell made as a reference point. To unfreeze it choose the unfreeze option from the relevant menu. You can insert rows and column in between the existing rows and column. Also, you can do the formatting of cells and sheets of spreadsheet. Like you can set the cell type, you can set the font and text option. So these are the different options you can perform on Excel spreadsheet. I have already created the video on create, save and edit worksheet. You can watch that video also. The exercise related to this practical is to create a worksheet you have to enter 10 different values in different cells and perform addition of them. Also you have to create a worksheet and assign various data types from available menu. You have to solve some practical related questions like differentiate absolute and relative cell addressing. Also you have to write steps to split the cell content in multiple lines when the contents are bigger than column width. And the last question, you have to write the procedure to insert three columns between column D and E. Now let us discuss the answers of practical related questions. The first question is differentiate absolute and relative cell addressing. The answer of this question is as you know relative cell references will change if you copy a formula. If you do not want cell references to change when you copy a formula then make those cell references absolute cell references. To do the absolute cell references place a dollar symbol before the column letter if you want that to always stay the same. For example, dollar $C, dollar $3 always refer to cell C3 even if you are going to copy a formula in a different cells and column. The second question is write steps to split the cell content in multiple lines when the contents are bigger than the column width. The answer of this question is there are two different methods to do this operation. First method is select the cells when the content should appear then enter the first line of data, press Alt plus Enter, then enter the second line of data and then press Alt plus Enter. The second method is select the cells in which the text should be wrapped, then go to format option in the menu, select the cells and then click on the alignment tab. Enable the wrap text option and then click on OK button. The third question is a right procedure to insert three columns between column D and E. So the answer of this question is select the three columns column number E, F, G that is three consecutive columns then right click on it select the option insert from the menu to insert three columns between D and E. So this is all about practical number 9. Thanks for watching.